Angels, what is going on? The Champ Strider here. And today we're going to get back into our Duma operating system for those Net Duma or the uh, the Nighthawk routers. And we're going to look into setting up our geo filters for the best possible Call of Duty connections. And before we hop into it, just support the channel by hitting the like and the sub button so that you can come back for all sorts of FPS content. All right, let's hop over to our geo filter settings. All right, guys, so this is my second video on the Net Duma. And as I said in my last one, the way to use this Net Duma is to ensure that you get a good connection in all of your games because skill based matchmaking is crazy in Call of Duty. So, what winds up happening is it decides it's a punishment lobby, and my game will throw me in lobbies all the way over here where I'm getting 80 or 100 ping, which is complete nonsense because, you know, I'm East Coast US and there are enough people on at all times of the day that I should only be playing against local people on a low ping. So we're going to use these geo filters to make sure that we don't get connected to lobbies that are across the country or even worse across the world because that makes no sense. How stupid is that? So I'll show you guys two or three different ways you can use these uh, these filters to get yourself a better experience. And you're going to kind of have to pick and choose depending on where in the world you're located and where the servers are. So let's get to it. So even though I already have one set up, we're going to go to the Add Device tab. And then you're going to click your actual PC. And then you're going to click on the Call of Duty tab. The Call of Duty PC only tab does not work. So just do the Call of Duty tab. I'm actually going to hit back since I already have that set up. And then you're going to have a little tab here with filtering mode. Red is on, white is off. We're going to leave it off for now. So if you look at your map, there should be a red circle of varying size. It'll probably start out something like this. All right, this is pretty huge. So you can connect to servers anywhere in this general range. But this is just kind of like a quick fix. It's not ideal because... Sometimes servers, even that are pretty close, can have 50 plus ping, and you want to isolate it down to get yourself the best connection possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our, our bar over here and click the ping heat map. And then I'm going to go, where is it, up here, to the Call of Duty Cold War tab. And this will show me where all their dedicated servers are and how I ping to them. Okay, so if you look, this is kind of weird one where I get six ping over here, but it hops around. And then you look at my eastern US, 13, 12, 25, 36. But so I want to make sure I'm connecting to only these servers that I have uh, that I have a good connection to. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to look exactly where it is on the map, right? I live up here, but for some reason I ping best, you know, down in this little this little area down here. So I went to my geo filter page again. So I'm going to take this little button right here, set home. I'm going to click it and I'm going to zoom in to where I find the about the same location that I uh, that I saw on my ping heat map. And I'm going to set my home right to this spot over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set the distance. So I think I set mine pretty low. So let's go to 200 right here. All right, so I have a pretty small circle here, so it'll only let me connect to circles in this general vicinity. What will wind up happening if you set that even lower, uh, let me make a real small circle here. Say something like this, you might actually never get a circle. So the circle needs to be large enough that there are enough available players or enough servers for you to get into one. So I'm going to set it to 200 for now. And now this distance that you'll have to set it to will depend on how many players in your general area play the game, you know, where the dedicated servers are. So you're going to have to play with this a little bit. So what I would do with this is I would start with a small circle. And then as you go in game, you'll see if you're connecting or you're not getting into any servers. And if you're not getting into lobbies, four or five tries in a row make the circle a little bigger but you don't want to have just like a massive circle like this because then your your geo filter it's not really doing you any good you're still you know connecting to servers all over the place so start with a small circle and just notice i still have the filter turned off over here uh you want to keep this off until you're logged into the main game lobby because what happens is a lot of times servers or the login servers are central us over here so you see that's outside of my geo filter so it might not let me onto the game. So after you're at the main menu, you can turn this to red and now your geo filters are actually working. Now that's the kind of quick and easy way to do it. And for me in my location, there's no reason not to just go that way. But depending on where you are in the world, there are some different ways that you can do this. So let's kind of hop back over to our ping map and 
look at another way that we can add some geo filters. So let's say I wasn't getting enough matches and not enough players in my area and I want to connect to two or more servers. Okay, so let's say I'm, I'm somewhere over here where there's maybe not a lot of players. This connection shit for me, but it might work for some people. So I want to connect to only, let's say, two of these. So I'm going to go back to my geo filter. And I'm going to click polygon mode. And what that'll let me do is then I hit the, the little pencil. And I can draw polygons around the server. And I don't remember exactly where they are. But then I can draw another polygon around the other server. And you could do this as many times as you want. I think you have maybe 50 dots you can use. So you can get a bunch of servers. So I can boom, 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 boom. I could add even another server. All right. So if you're in an area where it's hard to get matches or it's not that populated, you can connect to a few different servers and you'll have a better chance of getting in games with a good connection. Now, another way to set this up, which you'll have to play with it a little bit, but you take your home button and you just throw it somewhere in the ocean. Keep a pretty small circle. It doesn't matter. But then you're going to come over here to this ping assist tab and you're going to set it. The default is 30. Let's set it to 35. What the ping assist will do is I have it set at 35 is that it'll let you connect to any server outside of this range that you have 35 or under ping. So it'll go through its normal search functions and any server that fits the ping criteria, it'll let you in the match. Now, depending on where you live or how close to the servers you are, you'll have to switch this up a little bit. Now, normally I have my normal, where is my normal home area? Somewhere around, somewhere around here, right? Just put it there for now. So now normally I just leave this on at 20 because like say it just finds me a random match and it has 20 or under ping. I'll take it, right? Because ping is everything. All right, angels, that's it on how to set up the geo filters for the best possible Call of Duty experience. Again, we want to keep our ping below 40, right? Because it's just a much better experience, especially in Cold War. There's so much bullshittery with the skill-based matchmaking that it'll throw you across the world if you don't use the geo filters. So I'd rather play in sweat lobbies where I have a fighting chance at 25 ping. Again, before you guys go, if it's your first time here, become an angel and subscribe to the channel. I release FPS content every single week, and you don't want to miss it, champ. Out.